Okay, sorry about that. We're back. Well, maybe you saw it happen on the video. When I put it in, I pulled this thing out and it was sitting underneath it. So it was putting up that much, too much height. So let's try putting this in now. Maybe my life will not be 10 minutes long. Oh, it goes down to something. Oh, it starts to screw. So, you know, maybe when you're putting the battery in yourself, so you come up to these problems and you just like, remember I said it wasn't sitting right? I guess that's why I've been thinking, which it probably wasn't. More concerned how I might make a bad video. Here we are. Locking down the battery, finally. much better with penetrating grease on it. It's only a little rusted probably. Make her snug. And then you ain't got her. Not going anywhere. And you know. Let me put this around so it's out of the way. Looks good. Put that back down. Push this handle back down. Some people call it pickup handle, go handle, whatever. Let's check inside. See how much is messed up. It's talking to me. Thirteen, 736.5 first battery lasted didn't really die yet but the light on it's not green anymore so we changed it these new trucks don't put any fancy gauge to know if the battery or anything's right so that's you just go with hope maybe it's a light that would tell you anything but well that's it that completes the removal and installation of a battery on a 2013 f-150 it'll probably be between years of oh, i'm guessing 2004 to 2015 even maybe the newer trucks may even do that the same way lord knows well thanks if you liked the video sorry about not having things right i messed things up but that's just showing you what can happen in your own garage i mean you're just not paying attention and you bump something not sure how that fell off but we got it if you like it please subscribe and uh i hope you all well bye